वेलकम टू टेट गुरुकुल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट ए मिनिमल एस ओ पी फॉर्म टू ए स्टैंडर्ड और कैनोनिकल एस ओ पी फॉर्म इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू कन्वर्ट ए मिनिमल फॉर्म इन टू ए पॉस फॉर्म और स्टैंडर्ड पॉस फॉर्म यू कैन से दीज आर सम टॉपिक्स विच यू कवर्ड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर गुली एन एल जेबरा एस ओ पी फॉर्म पॉस फॉर्म The link for these topics have been given in the description box. These are some formulas which we will use in this lecture. This is commutative law a plus b is equal to b plus a. This is distributive law we have earlier studied in the Boolean algebra. These are some and and or rules. Now this is the logical expression which is given. This logical expression can be converted into SOP form and also in the POS form. So in this lecture we will do. Canonical POS form or standard POS form. In some previous lectures, we have converted a canonical form into a minimal form. In this lecture, we will do opposite of this. We will convert a minimal form into the canonical form. So, first of all, we will convert this logical expression into POS form. We can write this equation into POS form by using distributive law. This term will be written as a plus b. and a plus c similarly this term will be written as b plus c bar and b plus a we can write this b plus a as a plus b by using commutative law so this equation will become as a plus b a plus c b plus c bar and a plus b so this term a plus b is repeated again we know that a into a is equal to a this is end rule so we will write this a plus b as one time a plus b a plus c and b plus c bar this term will be cancel because a into a is equal to a now this is the pos form product of sums form because these are the sums and product is there so this is the product of sums but we can check here this is not a standard or canonical pos form we know that in canonical form all the max term have all the variables these are the max terms which should have all the variables so this is a minimal pos form now we will convert this minimal pos form into standard pos form or canonical pos form so we'll follow some steps in step number 1 we will check the number of variables that how many variables are there a b and c it means three variables are there so three variables are there a b and c now in second step we will check the missing variable this max term is missing c is not here it means this max term is missing c in this max term similarly b is not there it means b is missing here and similarly a is missing in this max term so now step 3 is there this is very important step in which we will find out the logic which logic we will follow to convert this into canonical form so for example this is some equation a plus b plus c a plus b plus c bar now we can minimize this equation by using boolean algebra we know that according to distributive law this a plus b is common here so we can write this a plus b plus this c into c bar this is distributive law we have written here we know that this is equal to 0 some variable is multiplied with the complement of its variable it means this is equal to 0 so finally this will be a plus b so what is the logic behind this if some term is missing in pos form it means some zero is added there so if we add zero in place of missing term there will be no effect similarly in this equation we will follow the same logic missing term is c so we will put a zero here there will be no effect by adding this zero here so similarly b is missing here we will write Zero in case of B and plus C. Here A is missing. Zero plus B plus C. Now we'll put 
c into c bar in place of this zero a plus b plus c into c bar similarly a plus b into b bar plus c then a into a bar plus b plus c now we'll simplify this equation according to distributive law this a plus b is written with c and again it will be written with c bar so we can simplify this equation a plus b plus c and then a plus b plus c bar now in this term a plus b plus c then a plus now b bar plus c now in this term a plus b plus c and then this is bar here bar so a plus b plus c bar and then final term a bar plus b plus c bar now we'll write this equation a plus b plus c then a plus b plus c bar then again a plus b plus c simultaneously we will check there will be no repeated terms so this is the repeated terms it will be cancelled because a into a is equal to a and rule now again a plus b bar plus c this is not repeated term it means a plus b bar plus c then a plus b plus c bar is this term repeated yeah this is repeated term so this will be cancelled then a bar plus b plus c bar this is not a repeated term it means a bar plus b plus c bar so this is the final canonical pos form or standard pos form canonical pos form or standard pos form you can say because all the max term having all the variable this is a b c a b c this all the max term having all the variable so in this way we can convert a minimal pos form into a standard pos form the third step is very important the logic behind this we have to remember this thing that we will place zero for the missing term and then convert then return this c into c bar for the zero so that's all for this presentation if you have any doubt any queries then write in the comment section thank you